Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to episode four, the fourth and final installment to the Facebook Ads Beginner course. As promised then today, we will be covering a scaling strategy. We'll be jumping into my ads manager, breaking down this particular ad, taking a look at the breakdowns, the age ranges, the demographics, placements, all of that so we can see exactly where the interest comes from. And then I'll be taking you through a low risk and high risk strategy for scaling and building upon what we did last episode. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, I highly suggest you go and check those out. In episode one, we covered the Facebook Facebook ads total value scores. In episode two, we covered the learning phase. Episode three was a testing strategy. And now here we are on episode four. Okay, so before we actually go into the breakdown, so I'm gonna take you through the strategy itself and just explain why we're doing things this particular way. So step one is we're gonna look at the breakdowns from the testing stages, the ad sets that you ran in that testing stage. And the main three things we're gonna be looking at is the age ranges, the different genders, and also the placements. Step two is to leave ad sets with purchases to run and turn off any others. So any ad sets from that testing stage which did indeed get purchases, my advice would be to leave those to run and turn the others off. Step three, with the ad sets that have purchases, we're gonna apply one of two different scaling strategies to it. We have a low risk option. So this is essentially where we just increase the budget by 10 to 15% every couple of days and just rinse and repeat. The reason why this is such a low strategy is because we're not drastically increasing your ad spend so it allows you to scale things nice and slowly and kind of do it as efficiently as possible. So if you are on a smaller budget, then you're not risking losing your money and you can make the most of every penny that you spend. And then the second option is the high risk option. So this is my favorite option. This is essentially where you duplicate and narrow with breakdowns and creative into a CBO campaign and increase budget to the 50 conversion mark. So if you've watched the previous episodes, you'll know what that 50 conversion mark is. But basically what we're doing is we're duplicating in the best performing ad sets from the testing stages into a CBO campaign and then we're making the budget of that CBO campaign the cost of achieving 50 purchases in a week. After every two days what we're going to do is take a look at the performance of the ad sets in that CBO campaign and we're going to kill the non-performing ad sets if the campaign isn't profitable. So overall if the campaign isn't profitable we're going to kill the non-performing ad sets and just rinse and repeat it every two days. Once we get to that point where the campaign the CBO is performing performing profitably, then we don't want to make any touches or any changes to it because then we risk resetting it going back into that learning phase. Which brings me nicely onto this last point, which is to remember, avoid significant edits to any profitable ad sets because then you run the risk of ruining those profitable ad sets and losing those performances forever. With that being said, let's jump into the ads manager then. I've got this ad creative, which we're going to be working from. It's had quite a bit of data. Um, it's reached nearly half a million people and got nearly a million impressions. So it's going to have lots of data on each of the breakdowns, which will just make it easier to explain in this video. But essentially what you're going to be doing, the fundamentals, the premise is exactly the same um, with your results. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to this breakdown box up here. We're going to go to buy delivery. And the first one we're going to look at is age. And what we can see from this point onwards, unfortunately, Facebook doesn't give us the cost per result for the different age ranges anymore, but it still will give us the amount spent and the three other most important ones, which is CPM, CPC, link CPC and link CTR. The reason why these two are so expensive is because number one, it shows which age range is most interested in our product. And number two, how cheaply we can get them onto our website. So when you're looking at the age ranges from your testing stages, essentially what you're looking for is the cheapest clicks, a combination like this top age range here for 65 plus of 95 cents and 1.6% in this instance. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of look for a point in which the, there's a massive gap between the data. So if we take a look at these younger age ranges for of 18 to 35, we can see that the link click-through rate is 0.58, 0.62, 0.68, 0 0.81. And then from there onwards, there's like a massive jump up to 1.23 and 1.6. It's also a similar-ish story for the cost per link click, 107, 127, 134, 148, but then there's a big dip to 115 and 0.95. So what this indicates to me for this particular ad is that the most profitable or the people most interested in the product are the top two age ranges, which is 55 to 65 plus. So what this means is that when I progress onto that scaling strategy and I'm duplicating into my CBO campaign, rather than include all of the age ranges, because if we add up all the money that's been spent from all the way down here, 13 to sort of 55 plus, 54 I should say, 13 to 54, 
that's the bulk of the money has been spent in those areas and they're not even the most profitable areas so what we're going to see when we duplicate is more money a higher percentage of money being spent on the most valuable most profitable areas the next breakdown we want to take into consideration to delivery is by gender you can put age and gender into one but in my opinion just makes it a bit too complicated what we can see here is it's a similar story for the differences between the two genders as well so we have male and female of course we can see that males are costing me a dollar 58 females are one dollar 19 ctr is 0.51 for males and ctr for females is one percent so females are cheaper and they're more interested they click through at a higher percentage so again what we take from this going into that scaling stages is we remove males from the equation and essentially when we target in females that are 54 to 65 plus if i remember correctly the next breakdown which we're going to take into consideration you can do country if you're targeting multiple countries however i wouldn't advise that is we can look at platform as well so we can see the difference between instagram facebook and audience network if you've got that included chances are you will if you've followed the strategy up to this point um, and included all the placements instagram and facebook can perform very similarly so if you've got very similar results then my advice would be to probably just include both of them still. However, if you're analyzing your results and you see there's a massive difference in terms of which audience is more interested, obviously go with the more favorable one. Last but not least, then we wanna go for placement. So this is gonna give us a breakdown of all of the areas in which our ad creative gets shown. And again, we're just gonna follow the same practices. We're gonna look at CPC, we're gonna look at CTR, and then we're just gonna narrow down when we progress onto those scaling stages, the most profitable areas. So just scrolling through, we can see the average action is $1.23. So anything below this is essentially performing better than average and something to look at. And we can see that 0.91% is the average click through rate. So we're looking for anything above 0.91 and anything below 1.23 and that's what gets progressed onto the next level and just to point out a couple then we have facebook in stream video we can see that the total impressions was nearly a million and this only got 4,000 impressions so that is potentially one of the most profitable and highly interested audiences in our product and we're spending well i've spent only five percent of my budget in that location and with that being said then guys i'm going to wrap the video up because i've covered pretty much everything i wanted to in this video hopefully that's all clear if there's any questions at all just post them below and i will get back to you just as a quick recap then there's a low risk and high risk option when it comes to scaling your low risk is just to keep increasing the budget every two days by 10 to 15 percent on those profitable ad sets from the testing phases and your high risk option which is a higher risk but it is a higher reward as well because we're going to be using bigger budgets we're essentially going to duplicate any purchases from the testing stages into a cbo campaign campaign the budget that we use is going to be enough to try and aim for those 50 conversions per week so if you're getting a 10 pounds cost per purchase from your testing stages times that by 50 500 pounds and that's going to be your budget for the week after two days we're going to review the results we're going to kill any non-performing ad sets if the campaign overall isn't profitable and then we're just going to rinse and repeat until it is profitable once you've got it profitable and running you just milk it for as long as possible and then to build upon this you simply just duplicate the campaign and increase the budget each time and so with that being said that brings a wrap to the facebook ads beginner course i feel like there's so much more i could talk about but without making these videos hours and hours long um, i've covered the basics and the fundamentals of facebook ads if you want to learn more check out the free training it's the first link in my description it's 100 percent free it's one to two hours long i do cover a lot in a lot more detail than i can in a 10 to 15 minute youtube video so check that out if you're interested but apart from that all the best with your facebook ads have an awesome q4 guys and i'll see you in the next one